live model, 28th of April. You guys were here last time. Uh, we had a great turnout and a great time. This time we have Rose of May coming down to join us. All right, guys, you know that we have our Tuesday night art meetup. Do you know that we also have our live model event the last Tuesday of every month? April, it falls on the 28th, right before Free Comic Book Day. It gives you more reasons to come down. And this time, we're going to have Rose of May down to join us. If you're on uh, Twitter, it's Lady Rose of May. Uh, thank you for coming down. Yeah, always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. You got it. And thank you for coming down on the 28th as well. I'm super excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. Last time, uh, we had a good turnout, uh, a good crowd, a lot of really good artwork uh, done at, uh, at the event. So I know that we'll have the same. I know you guys will have a good time coming down here. But let's, uh, let's get to know you a little bit. Uh, and uh, just so they know what they're getting into. Um, you, you're a cosplayer, you're a kickboxer, you're a Sac City roller, and a live model. So, I mean, that's, that, and you like theater. So, there, there's a lot of different stuff. There is. There's a lot going on. So, uh, well then, tell us a little bit about the cosplay. Uh, so, the cosplay is, um, you know, I... I started getting into it with the conventions many many years ago more than i'd like to talk about <laughs> and uh you know nowadays i i primarily do the cosplay for uh like west coast avengers which is a, a charity group that goes around to local community events and hospital visits and things like that so um i don't attend a whole lot of conventions these days usually just the big ones but um have yeah. you done san diego I have done San Diego. Oh, that thing is incredible. It, I miss it. It was intense when I was last there in like 2008. So I can't even imagine what it looks like these days. Yeah. I mean, my God, I saw an old picture from it where you could walk up. And this is only like a decade ago where you could just walk up, purchase a ticket the day of. <laughs> and now if you're not on the internet at a certain time, you're not getting anything. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. Really. It's fun though. Did you have a good time? Oh, I had an amazing time. Yeah. And what did you go as that year? Uh, that year, I, uh, I was actually in the masquerade. We had a group of Disney fairies. We ended up winning an award for it, which is awesome. That is awesome. Um, Who did you I, go as? Uh, so I was uh, Rosella, which is, you know, they had their little, you know, Tinkerbell's yeah. fairy friends or whatever. So I was her. She's the little, the little Rose one, you know, Rose of that is That is cool. I know uh, J. Scott Campbell, uh, is that the same group that he promotes? Do you know? I think so. It's not? Okay. Um, so, so aside from cosplay, you also do uh, roller derby. Mm -hmm. And what got you uh, going there? So I found roller derby uh, kind of in the interim. I, I used to do competitive uh, boxing on the amateur circuit, and so, I <laughs> so com like actual competitive. Yeah, I, I was I was an amateur boxer. Yeah. Wow. Um, and uh, you know, there's as an athlete, like your body just kind of needs um, rest and time away. Like I I knew I was never going to do it for a living or anything like that, and uh, and and I was just kind of tired of um, of I guess the drill of it, and I just needed a break. But um, it must be intense. It, it's it's extremely intense, and, um, and that's just the amateur circuit. Like getting into uh, you know what the pros go through is just it's crazy. But uh, yeah, you know, still being an athletic person, I, I, I there was just a void there, and um, I was looking for something. And I had just moved here at the time, and okay. I walked into some random coffee shop, and uh, Sac City Rollers had a flyer uh, advertising for tryouts. And I was like, Sweet. well, I can sort of skate. I don't know. So I... Like, how hard can it be? Yeah. Like... <laughs> so I went and checked it out, and um, and that was kind of it. And then I uh, I did that for three years, and um, now I'm taking a break from that because my, my body and my knees are tired of getting pummeled in certain areas. So, so. so you mentioned earlier that the, the, the strain that you put on from, from bo boxing uh -huh. versus the Sac City Rollers is completely different. It's, what because in the Sac City Rollers, what does that require more of? Is it stamina? Uh, is it because there's a lot you gotta have speed, you gotta have stamina. Yeah. Um, um, well, with with Derby, I mean, you, you're you're wearing the pads, but there's still a lot of impact because you're you're falling. So it's 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 just hard on your on your spine and on anything joint related. So a lot of wear and tear. A lot of wear and tear. Okay. Yeah. It, it's it's really it's really hard. There's a, you know a lot of girls having knee injuries and um, uh, shoulder injuries, like just really important stuff and. You know, I was lucky enough that I never got seriously injured, but there were times where I felt like things were just tender, and if I just got like a really solid fall the wrong way, it like that would be bad. it. So you know, when your body starts giving you those signals, um, you know, it's just kind of time to. And, to, and to three years relax. is a good. I mean, that's a, yeah. a good amount of time. Yeah. You were there. You, um, 
when we started. Mm -hmm. um, and your roller derby name was uh, Jekyll and Hyde the Body. Yes, it was. Um, so you may see her back again. Keep your eyes open. If you guys True. haven't come, uh, come with us to Sac City Rollers. We always organize a group, uh, have an, a section together. Uh, Red Tornado is always awesome enough to, to save awesome, us a yes. spot together uh, so that we don't have to try and find seats. <laughs> um, but, oh, wait, wait, before we go on to uh, the live model, the back to kickboxing. Uh -huh. Have you ever knocked anyone out? <laughs> yes, in training. In, in not even. I, I did have some TKOs um, in actual matches, but uh, okay. but does that happen often? Uh, in general, Among, yeah, in general. In general, I think so, yeah, because there's a lot okay. of things that can attribute to a TKO. A TKO um, usually just means that the person is incapable of continuing the fight. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're don't have to be knocked out. out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they can just um, whether it's some kind of injury that happened that's just making them uh, making the match extremely either dangerous or uneven. Um, or you know, if they find themselves in a situation where they're just in a lot of pain and they tap out, or you know, yeah, they yeah, the just, head, or they get the headlock down. and like they know that it's going to happen, and that's just when you kind of you got okay. to call it in. But yeah, there's a lot of things that can uh, attribute to a TKO. And, and is there a pretty big circuit around the around Sacramento, or is this something that you would ha have to travel for? Uh, to compete? To compete. Well, in general with the women's, I mean, you, you have to travel because there's okay. just not the ratio of women to men in any sort of pugilistic sport, except roller derby, uh, <laughs> is, is, uh, is pretty vast. So, um, you know, I, I never fought out here in California. I, I fought over on the East Coast. But, yeah, okay. we, we, would have to, we would have to go out of town usually to just even find, like, a sparring mate. So... Okay. Um, so normally, I'm used to I'm used to train with, training with men, sparring with men in the local areas. And, and um, obviously, travel is not new to you because with the Sac City Rollers, you have to travel quite a bit as well. True. So, uh, but for the live model event, you just have to come right down here after work, uh, which is again the 28th of April, and um, this is your very first live model. Yes, it is. Uh, I've done modeling for photo shoots, mm -hmm. uh, so I mean it's not entirely like a, a leap into new territory. Yeah. But as far as like holding a pose, I'm hoping my athleticism in That's the past say, will think, attribute yeah. <laughs> to my survival. But um, yeah, I'm I'm really excited about it. I, I can't wait to see. I think you have like some really amazing events here that help artists kind of expand and give them opportunities to well, do you. new things. So. I think it's awesome. That's awesome. And now uh, she can be a part of it. You guys can be a part of it. Make sure you come down. What are you going to be coming down so that we know what the will be drawn? So I am going to come down in a steampunk outfit. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I uh, To add onto the list of things that piqued my interest, um, I got into <laughs> vintage dancing as well. Um, so I, I go to a lot of like those you know old, old time like grand balls. I go into the waltzes and... So, so that and, that seems like it would be a natural it, leap from that with conventions kind of, and such uh -huh. to get into the. It does. Park. It does. It all. It all converges. Like all my interests kind of converge in one way, shape, or form. So, okay. um, so yeah, that's it, it's it's and kind of a tailwind from that. Did you make uh, the steampunk costume or costume that you're coming in? Yes, I did. Okay, that's awesome. And you guys, again, you'll see. Uh, Come free comic book day. She's got an amazing Captain Marvel costume that you just finished last week, right? I did. Yes. Yeah, just finished. Looks great. Uh, you'll see it on the other video. But go take a peek. Oh, again, where can they find you on Facebook and on Twitter? Facebook, uh, Rose of May, and Twitter is Lady Rose of May. And you guys can see some of the examples of steampunk there. Uh, give me a call if you guys have any questions. Hit me up on Facebook. Shoot us a message on Facebook, and we hope to see you all there. And thank you uh, for coming down tonight, and thank you for coming down uh, on the 28th. Perfect. I can't wait. All right. We'll see you then.